Welcome everyone to my channel. Today we have a challenge on the board. How to solve exponential equation using the Lambert WN function. Now, the question reads, 5 to the power of 2x equal to 7x. What then will be the possible value of x? Now, before going to this challenge, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button. The reason why you have to subscribe is because at All Online Mass TV, we drop wonderful videos all the time. And if you are a returning subscriber, thanks for always being there. We love you. Okay, without being said, let's go to today's challenge without much waste of time. So let's put down our question by taking solution. Okay, solution. The question again is 5 to the power of 2x equal to 7x. Okay, now, if you look at this challenge, the x we're looking for is at the exponent here and also at the base here. And so, there is a simple logic we can use to solve this. Supposing the number here is an even number and this number is also an even number, but since they are about prime numbers, so how do we navigate this? Hence, we'll be making use of the Lambert WN function. Okay, so here, the first thing I'm going to do here is to rewrite this left-hand side of the equation. Remember the law of indices which says that if you have a to the power of m or to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m, n. Okay, and again, we can equally write this as our a to the power of n into our m. Okay, so with this law, in mind, we can rewrite this as 5 to the power of 2 or to the power of x equal to 7x. Now, 5 to the power of 2 is 25, and so this will give us 25 or to the power of x equal to 7x. Very easy. Okay, now, like I told you, we're having this x here at the exponent and at the base here. So, what I will do here, let's divide through by our 25 to the power of x to make the left hand side unity and so we're going to divide this by 25 to the power of x this other side by 25 to the power of x also if we do that the left hand side will give us 1 so here we now have this to be 1 equal to your 7x all over 25 to the power of x again I want to divide through by 7 so that all the constant term will be on this other side so if I divide again by 7 so automatically this will be times 7 by this all over 7 so 7 will go with 7 here so our equation will now become let's continue on this side of the board so all right so this equation will now become we're going to have this to be 1 all over your 7 equal to your x all over 25 to the power of x. Good. Now, with what we have in here now, if we decide to cross multiply, we're going back to where we're coming from. Okay? So, we are to rewrite this 25. Recall the uh, law of logarithm, which says that if you have um, e to the power of your ln of uh, p, this will give us your p. Why? Because here we are having e a constant, then here we have your natural log here, yeah, base e. And so e, ln of base e, automatically this, this will leave. So we are left with p. And so we're going to have our expression here yeah, to become 1 all over your 7 equal to your x all over your e, then ln of uh, 25 or to the power of x all right now if we use the law of indices which says that if you have your one all over your a to the power of x is equal to your a to the power of minus x according to this law and so we can write the whole of this expression as our one all over seven equal to your x dot your e okay to the power of minus 
ln of 25 r to the power of x. Now, according to the a law of in a logarithm, then we can move this to this back here. And so if we do that, if I, let's move this term to this other side and move this constant term to the uh, right hand side of the equation. So this will now becomes your x dot your e r to the power of minus x ln of 25 equal to your 1 all over 7. Again, we look at this. The x we're looking for is still at the exponent and it's also at the base here. So what do we do here? We think of bringing this exponent to the base. X is here, X is already here. So what we just have here now is just minus ln of 25. So we have to multiply the base here by minus ln of 25. And according to the law of equation or equality, we must do the same to this other side of the equation. And so this will automatically becomes your minus your uh, x uh, dot your ln of 25 the dot e r to the power of minus x ln of 25 everything equal to your minus ln of 25 all over um, your 7 okay now this is where the beauty of uh, the Lambert WN function comes in. This is what we have to do here. The exponent, what we have here now, is the same thing we have here now. So at this point, we cannot bring in the Lambert WN function to this. What does it say? It says that if you have um, your p uh, times your e to the power of p, then if you take the Lambert WN function of this, this will be equal to your p. This is what it says, okay? So if we take, uh, if we take this uh, a law into consideration, here we are having the exponent p, and here the base is p, okay? Same thing we we'll have here now. The exponent is also what we have here now. So we can take the lambda wm function of this expression here, and so this will give us. So let's continue on this side of the board. So automatically we're going to have this to be here yeah, the Lambert WM function of bracket minus your x ln of 25. Okay, then dot your e to minus ln x ln of 25. Okay. Close bracket equal to the Lambert WM function of minus your ln of 25 close bracket all over 7 good here this side of the equation on the left hand side we're going to have this we're left with minus x ln of 25 equal to your Lambert wm function of minus ln of 25 close bracket all over 7 we're looking for our x so we can divide by your minus ln of 25 so go by that we have minus ln of 25 equally divide this by minus ln of 25 so this and this we leave okay we do sign here this we go with this we are now left with x is equal to minus lambda wm function of minus uh, ln of 25 close bracket all over 7 all over your ln of 27 okay so this is the value for x q e d all right now you can include this into your wolfram mafra calculator to get the numerical value for x that to satisfy our exponential equation. So this marks the end of this exponential equation using the Lambert WN function. If you learned something good from this video, give the video a thumbs up and if you're new here, then kindly subscribe. Okay, today I decided to use my natural voice to see how it feels like. Okay, so this is Online Mass TV again and my name is Jake's Animo. If you love what is going on here, give the video a thumbs up and also share this video with family and friends who need this knowledge. Thanks for always be there.
Remember, Jakes loves you and every one of us at Online Mass TV love you. Bye for now.